The total eclipse earlier this month won't likely be forgotten soon by the millions of North Americans who witnessed it. Even before the moon obscured our view of the sun, artists in the North Country were celebrating the celestial event. They created works of art depicting light, shadow, and darkness, a total eclipse of the arts. You won't need protective glasses to safely marvel at visions of an eclipse. In works by 23 artists from Malone, New York and surrounding communities. The pieces fill the North Star Gallery at the Malone Arts and Cultural Center. All of it is different and each artist has displayed their own interpretation of what the total eclipse means to them. One of my favorite things to do is make big bowls on the wheel. And uh, usually it's just a typical like fruit bowl like you put on your counter. So with the uh, inspiration being the eclipse, what I decided to do was kind of flare out the edges like you see here uh, to make it more of a scalloped edge to mimic like the corona of the sun. Um, and then the interior I tried to make dark to mimic what an eclipse would look like uh, with the more bright um, colors, the, the vibrant reds on the outside. And then for the interior, as you can see, I was kind of going for a, a celestial vibe on the inside. During the eclipse, stars become visible during the day. And so that was part of the inspiration for um, putting what I hoped would look like stars um, on the interior of the piece. A few years ago, we moved to Owl's Head, and that particular painting is the view from one of our meadows. So the mountain on the right is Debar, and then to the left is Baldface Mountain, and in the middle is Sable Mountain. Each piece that I make is made out of various types of paper. Um, that particular one is made completely from tissue paper, um, which is painted. I think the mood that it sets is eeriness. The total eclipse, you know, when it's happening, it's just the shadow and light is so different. And I think the show expresses that. You have a variety of different colors here. You have everything from reds and yellows and blues to work that's black and white and gray, and so you get that display, the different styles. The colors in this painting started with the song, Wear Your Love Like Heaven by Donovan. First step usually in a painting is you do the background, the sky. So I pulled out my drawer of blues, and I thought, what's the deepest blue I've got? And there it is, Prussian blue. And I just started thinking of the lyrics of the song. Uh, color in the sky, Prussian blue, scarlet fleece changes hue, uh, crimson ball sinks from view, wear your love like heaven. And so I started going through my drawers. Which of these colors do I have and how can I work them into the painting? My wife Betty also is an artist. She's got uh, this marvelous graphic imagination. I wish I had it. I made this piece. It's an acrylic piece, and it's a photographer looking up at the total solar eclipse, and I'm the photographer.
When I'm not outside doing my photography, I enjoy doing a little painting in acrylics because it is relaxing and it's a different way to express yourself as an artist. And I enjoy doing different scenery, especially of nature, because that's what inspires me. This piece here shows the moon that has already moved to almost totally to cover the sun. And so what you get around is you see an, an aura that comes around and uh, it's very bright. So I'm depicting here that the sun is still there and the colors in that would be probably in the colors of having some orange and some yellow and perhaps a little bit of the clear that's coming through. The art exhibit opened a few days before the afternoon sky went dark. While many of us in the North Country were gazing at the spectacle of the total eclipse, artist Carol Bracey took some more photographs to add to the art show. There's just so many different things to see here. I think that that's what makes an interesting show. One event, many different ideas of what it means. You may experience the total eclipse of the arts from now until Saturday, April 27th at the North Star Gallery on Pearl. It's located at 43 Pearl Street in Malone. For more information about the gallery events and other arts activities, head to the website foothillsartsociety.com. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.